Welcome to another I Am John Cullen podcast. This is John Cullen. We're going to take a closer look today at Officer Brady Cook and from where he might have been shot. This is a follow-up to another podcast that we did a week or two ago where we looked at Officer Brady Cook and his partner, Detective Josh Haynes, and Brady Cook is shot. He's shot in his right shoulder, shot in the back of his right shoulder, and that bullet proceeded to exit from his bicep and then enter his torso. And it just didn't seem likely that that bullet originated from room 32135. So we took a closer look at it and pulled up a couple of other body cams. And I want to share this with you to see if you think that maybe he was shot from elsewhere. So let's take a closer look. First, we're going to look at Detective Josh Haynes' body camera, and then you'll see Brady Cook's body camera. They're in the same car, sitting side by side. Brady, he was a second day officer. You know, he was two days out of the academy, and we find ourselves in the middle of an active shooter under a barrage of gunfire. The first thing you hear is coming down the street, you just hear the sounds of the gunfire. Somebody in the big can you tell me where it's coming from? The plan was to set up a strike team to go in and find the guy and then but as soon as we got out of the car he focused all his fire on us it was just all around you just felt like it was coming from everywhere top down left right it just felt like it was coming from everywhere he looks over at me and he says you know where's it coming from and he kind of pops his head up a little bit and at that moment he took a round yeah, I got shot. Right. I got shot. where 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 uh, all right move move we got dead that was the lvmpd's tribute let's take a closer look at what might have actually happened we use the audio tracks from these two body cams to synchronize the footage. And it's right about at this moment that we see the aircraft above the intersection. We went looking for other sightings and said, all right, might there be other perspectives from which we can see aircraft at this moment in time? And we explored other body cams. We explored the municipal camera. And that's the subject of this podcast. So let's take a closer look together. Control, the advice. Shots are coming from gate 7. Gate 7. Shots are coming from gate 7. In October of 2018, we published a video showing the footage from the municipal camera that was on the corner at the intersection across from Mandalay Bay. And we went back to re-examine that footage as a result of some comments that were made by some independent investigators. We gave a shout out to CN when we did that original video who pointed out that footage. This time we give a tip of the hat to Sandra. Sandra's comments were posted, I believe, on the Las Vegas Shooting Archive page. And she spotted something that many investigators missed. And we picked up on that. She asked at 1930-ish, is that flashes in the sky to the left of the Delano? And John Workus said, yes, a helicopter moving slowly north to south. So let's take a closer look at that and see what we think. So a quick review. This is the footage from the municipal camera that was mounted at the intersection across the street from the Mandalay Bay. And from this camera, we were able to pick up footage of a helicopter flying northbound over the venue towards the Tropicana and the MGM Grand. So based on Sandra's comment, we rewound that film. 
and we went back in time about a minute or so to see what was it that she was pointing out that was near the Delano. Now, this municipal camera footage is pretty damning in its own right. I mean, in this footage, you're seeing an aircraft over the Tropicana headed towards the MGM Grand, and there's absolutely nothing on flight radar in this vicinity. So when Sandra's comments uh, popped up, we said, well, let's take a look at what she's looking at and see if we see anything, because we hadn't looked at the footage that much earlier. So when we rewound it, we uh, were somewhat stunned. So let's take a closer look. The first thing we did was we synchronized the municipal camera to the Brady Cook and uh, Josh Haynes footage using the moment the uh, vehicles make the U-turn at the intersection. So using that to synchronize, we can see them on the municipal camera. So we used that as the synchronization point, and then we uh, rewound from there. So let's take a look at how we did this. We have multiple casualties, GSW, the medical check. Multiple casualties. So that allowed us to synchronize, and then we rewound 40 se 48 seconds earlier. And this is the moment that Sandra pointed out and said, Hey, what is that I see over by the Delano? So if you watch carefully, you'll see what Sandra saw. On the left side, upper quadrant of the screen, you want to look next to the Delano Hotel at the top and see what you see. BP, I need eyes. Can you Seven ninety right. I'm gonna pull the strike team, man. Everybody in the whole ground. I need five officers on me. We have multiple casualties, GSW for the medical check. Multiple casualties. See it. It's not easy to see, but we're gonna zoom in for you and take a closer look so that it's a little bit easier. We saw it and it's pretty remarkable. So let's take a closer look, let's zoom in and watch again. BP, I need eyes. Somebody in the BP, can you tell me where it's coming from? I don't know. 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 Thank you for watching this portion of this podcast. If you'd like to watch the entire podcast, you can go to patreon.com slash I am John Cohen and subscribe for as little as one dollar a month. It's not a theory. We won't stop.